and you've just had a new baby, Robbie. Yes, I Robbie's have. Robbie's had a new baby. A kind of a, a kind of a lockdown baby. Wait, February, I believe, Bo appeared. Is that right? Yeah, I've got four babies, four babies now. Four kids, yeah. So the lockdown experience, once again, you must have been pretty... You had your hands full, I would have thought. Yeah, I did. I had my hands full, but it's been incredible because they, they now think that I'm a stay-at-home father. That's... They get all of me all of the time. This is the first time I've been out of the house in eight or nine months. And for being a dad, you know, COVID's obviously been awful, but for being a dad and being having structure and being with them every day, it's been beautiful. Yeah, so that's a real silver lining. Yeah. And what kind of things were you teaching them? Are there things that, in particular, is there wisdom that you have learned in your eventful life that you are ready to pass <sighs> on to them? Not, not yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> but they, uh, uh, manners is the key. Yes. Manners is the key and looking at grown-ups in the eye when they talk to you and responding to them. So yes, please, and no thank you is the order of the day right now and uh, they're, they're all doing well. Isn't that amazing, though, when you meet someone with children and when their children are well-behaved or polite, they, the, 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 the adults go right up in your estimation, don't they? Yeah. Immediately. You I remember the time I bumped into David Beckham once in LA and his kids were there. I didn't really know David Beckham at all. And his children were so sweet and so polite and so well behaved. And I thought, my God, they must be really good parents to do that. Um, or, or they have really good nannies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Judy, you were a big, uh, a big Take That fan back in the day, weren't you? Oh, I was, Did you yeah. ever see Robbie live with the boys? I didn't see Robbie on his own or even with the boys. I couldn't afford their tickets. But I did go to a Blue concert instead. Wow. <laughs> That's the band take that could have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the how, how, how was the blue concert for you? It was, it was fantastic. I went with my brethren, right? And the thing is, you know, when you watch, you watch them kind of concerts on TV, and you see all the girls throwing their bras and all that. So we went and we saw a couple of girls throw their bras with were like A cups and stuff. And me and my brethren, we're a bit of like busty girls. We're fluffies, we're big girls, we're like mampy pampies. And um, <laughs> we decided like we wanted to throw our bras, isn't it? So we was all in the party, really enjoying the concert. My friend took off her bra, we threw it, but it literally licked one of the singers in their face. <laughs> and he had like a G cut over his face. <laughs> and then someone shouted out, whose mum threw out their bra? <laughs> so me and my brethren was like, loud out, loud out. We're not saying anything. And my bra was like a cream bar but looked like it had been washed with the black coals, if you get what I mean. <laughs> so basically, it was in like West London and we didn't bother to go to the end and collect our bra. So we had to walk, not walk home, but travel back home with our arm under our G titties <laughs> all the way from West London to East London trying to hold up our breasts. Wow, wow. Yeah, it was hard work. Wow. I, just, I find Strength. it fascinating that you think there's like a bra collection point after a gig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, there was there was like security uh -huh. saying like bras, bras, these little sweet little petite A cups, yeah. and then there was just this big granny bra, <laughs> like with how many straps at the back, and we were just like, no, it's not ours. It's <laughs> not ours. <laughs> Can I just say that I went to Dale Winton's funeral and Blue sung at Dale Winton's funeral. Wow. I was very all nice, right, but I, but I did think. <laughs> but I did think. I don't want them at my funeral. Yeah. Lovely though they are, <laughs> I'd be hoping okay. for someone a little what, more welcome. What do you mean? You mean they're not A-list enough to sing at your funeral? <laughs> but I'd want Elton or something, wouldn't I? Well, I would hope you'll now... think of Elton John. He's <laughs> <laughs> about 97. He's about 72. Okay. Robbie, do you know that you are the play on music for the big chain of comedy clubs that you used to be? Yeah. The jongleurs. Was it Let Me Entertain You? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So every time I hear that song, I, my guts go up. Oh, wow, me too. It's, it's the first song that I come out to every time. Yeah, it makes me throw up. <laughs> <laughs>